Hello. Welcome to a walkthrough tutorial video on how to submit files for the Merit Based Incentive Payment System, Data Validation, and Audit. There are two approved, secure, and HIPAA compliant methods for file submission. The first option is through KiteWorks Secure File Sharing Platform, and the second option is to submit files through Secure Facts. If you have been selected to submit data to comply with the legislative authority set forth in 42 CFR 414.1390A1, this tutorial is intended to walk you through the secure submission process for KiteWorks Secure File Sharing Platform and Secure Facts. Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services has contracted with GuideHouse to conduct this MIPS DVA. KiteWorks Overview. KiteWorks is a secure file transfer solution that is a safe and easy method for you to provide your personally identifiable information and protected health information to GuideHouse for MIPS DVA. KiteWorks allows all data in transit to be transmitted through an encrypted transport layer security connection that meets Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996 standards. It also protects all data with assessment evaluation and standardization 256-bit encryption. In order to use KiteWorks, a unique account will need to be created for the individual transferring the file. The unique account created within KiteWorks will need to be completed by the user with the email address the MIPS DVA notification letter was addressed to by following all instructions upon activation. If you or your organization needs further access for other email addresses for file submission, please reach out to MIPS underscore DVA at guidehouse.com to request access. Please include your data request identification number and email address needing to be added. It is important to remember to not send any personally identifiable information or protected health information to MIPS underscore DVA at guidehouse.com. Next up, we will be discussing the steps to create, activate, and submit files on KiteWorks. To create and activate your user account in KiteWorks as a new user, you will need to refer to an email you should have received to access the MIPS DVA file submissions folder in KiteWorks. Start by clicking the blue access folder button in the email you received. You will then be directed to the sign in page of KiteWorks in your browser. On the sign in page, click on create account under the username or email box shown here in step two. On the create account page, enter your email address and create and confirm a password with a minimum of eight characters that has at least one number, one lowercase character, one uppercase character, and one special character. When all password criteria points have a green check mark next to them, click next to continue. You may then be prompted to enter a CAPTCHA code to verify your identity. If prompted, type the code shown on your screen and click the black button labeled Create Account to continue, as shown here on step four. After clicking Create Account, as shown on step four, you should receive an email with an account activation link welcoming you to KiteWorks. In the email, click the blue button labeled Activate Account. After clicking Activate Account, your account should be activated and ready for use. Please continue following along for login and file transmission instructions. KiteWorks Login Instructions. Upon activation, you will then be able to log in to KiteWorks. To log in, enter www.share.guidehouse.com 
in your search browser. To complete steps one and two on this page, enter your username and click Next. Then enter your password and click Next. If you forgot your password and need to reset it, please refer to section 1.1.2 of the attachment B document that was sent to you as part of the DVA request package. In steps three and four, you will be prompted to enter a passcode that was sent to your email address to pass the two-factor authentication. Once you have entered your designated passcode for the two-factor authentication, select if you want the system to remember your device. After entering your designated passcode and selecting on whether you want the system to remember your device, click the sign in button. If you did not receive a passcode in your email to pass the two-factor authentication, click resend under the sign in button as shown on the screen for step four. After clicking sign in, a secure folders landing page should be displayed as shown here where you will be able to transmit your file. KiteWorks File Transmission Confirmation. One or more files may be uploaded at a time, including zip files. Start by identifying the file you want to upload. Before doing so, save the document in the following format, data request identification number, underscore measure ID, underscore date. Please note that your data request identification number and measure ID can be found on your MIPS DVA notification email, and the date is the date of upload. An example is provided in red here. On the Secure Folders page, click Upload or drag the file into the main body of the folder. A Browse dialog box should then be displayed. After selecting your file, click Open. After clicking Open as shown on the previous screen, the uploaded file will then display in the folder to confirm that you have completed the process. Once you have confirmed that you have completed the process, you may log off the system. Please note, files sent and received through KiteWorks will expire in three days. Additionally, inactive accounts will be deactivated following 30 days of inactivity. If at any time you are locked out of your KiteWorks account, please reach out to MIPS underscore DVA at guidehouse.com to request access. Please include your data request identification number and email address requested to be reset. If at any time you need to reset your KiteWorks password, click Forgot Password on the login page. You will receive an email with a link to reset your password. Secure Fax Transmission Overview. If you plan to fax your file, please continue following along for instructions. For starters, a cover sheet is required if you are faxing your file. On the cover sheet of your fax, include the following information with confidential written in the header, your name, your title, your email address, your telephone number, the name of the practice or clinic, and the data request identification number, which can be found within the email notice of data validation and audit. Once your cover sheet has been created and your file is ready to be faxed, please fax it to plus one six four six four one seven six five two three. If you have any questions or need additional assistance, please email MIPS underscore DVA at guidehouse.com. This brings us to the end of our walkthrough tutorial video on how to securely submit your MIPS DVA information to Guidehouse. We appreciate your engagement and would like to kindly remind you to use one of the two approved methods of file submission we spoke about in this video. 
KiteWorks Secure File Sharing Platform or Secure Facts. If you have any questions or need additional assistance, please email MIPS underscore DVA at guidehouse.com, but remember not to send any personally identifiable information or protected health information to this email address. Thank you.